is up, everybody? How are we doing tonight, folks? What's up, NYR? How you doing, sir? Oh, I'm doing great, thank you. I am doing great. So I'm going to start 6.01 in about uh, five minutes, get everyone uh, to get in here. Then we will do Platinum, it looks like it's filled after this. And then we have uh, about three or four breaks that are very, very close. Six left, five left, four left, three left, seven left, so... NYR, I think the Leafs are winning tonight. I think they're just, uh, overall, I think they're just playing a lot better right now. But I guess we'll find out, right? The cup picks look uh, very good, don't they? And uh, we have the checklist, uh, for anyone who wants to see the checklist out, we already have the checklist up. There is the checklist for anyone that needs to see it. It is a monster checklist. When breaks will be posted, hopefully sometime next week. Hopefully sometime next week, but uh, we haven't even we haven't even got an idea of what we're getting yet. So Uh, NYR, absolutely. The way the market's going, I would say any nice card get graded. But yes, specifically that huge, why would you not? So yeah, if you want to get that graded, send us uh, or do the checkout for the grading. We'll get it sent out for you. McDavid Young Guns are going crazy. You know what, realistically though, as it should, the stuff that he is doing, 24 points in 12 games, that is just different level of incredible. Uh, no NYR, but I would uh, do the checkout and then send us an email right away so that Dan... Uh, He's going to be working on the shipping in the next day or two. So I would make sure you uh, get that email out and do the checkout uh, as soon as possible.
But yeah, the uh, young guns are going crazy. Everything's going crazy right now. Nothing's safe from the crazy train. All right, I'm going to start the first break, folks. Box series one, yeah, it's it's going crazy. It is crazy. So I'm gonna open up the superlative. I'm just gonna wait for Anna to leave, actually. this why the serial number on a graded card yeah. like the actual serial number on the card why would you ever hide it I don't know. no I would never hide it that's really weird if someone h hides it Am I buying Ashley some shots tonight? Yeah. Um, so just so you guys know, we're going to be doing breaks till about 8, 8.30 tonight. So anything that gets filled before 8, most likely will go. Obviously, a lot of the breaks are very, very close, so they won't take too long to do. Um, so I do appreciate if you guys want to get the ball rolling on any of them. But we'll try to plow through them as much as we can. So uh, I'm going to start the first break, 6.01. This one will take literally like... Two minutes so we'll start this one first and we're going to go into platinum and we'll go from there so good luck everyone here we go starting off cnc break number 13601 superlative you've forgotten what's in there yeah that's always fun too right Those, that's always fun when you kind of forget what's in there and then you just get like a whole bunch of extra stuff that you forgot about. We start off numbered 8 of 25. Triple jersey of Yarmur Yager. 8 of 25. We've got an international ice numbered 13 of 15. So jersey numbered. For the three spot, Matt Sundin. Three spot. We've got for the four spot, number to 15, Esposito. 
Esposito. Four of fifteen. Ooh, wow. Wow. We've got a one of one superlative dual sticks. Wayne Gretzky. One of one. Wayne Gretzky. That's pretty sick. Damn. Wow. We've got for the not numbered spot International Ice Autograph, Timu Solani. Timu Solani, International Ice. Numbered 14 of 20 to the four spot, Nikki Lidstrom. The four spot, Nikki Lidstrom. And we finish off numbered 16 of 25, Jersey Auto, Patrick Waugh. For the sixth spot. Holy awesomeness. All right, guys, gotta lock the front door and I'll be right back. But holy damn, was that a nice card to get the Gretzky. Well, break number one, gigantic success. Not a bad start to a day when we get a Gretzky 101. Gotta say so for myself. So first one is done is like dinner. Again, we go till about eight o'clock ish, eight thirty tonight, just so you guys know. Um, so hopefully you guys get everything filled, and we can go from there. All right, so platinum is going to be the next one. So give me a few minutes, folks. We're going to get the randoms organized there. And I do appreciate your guys' understanding on that. As I said, it is uh, Smash's birthday, and there's not much we can do in this COVID era. 
So we're just trying to have a little uh, birthday cake while staff is here and stuff like that. And try to do something rather than nothing. So give me one second, folks. Almost done. All right, best of luck. Three fours. Let's start. Here we go, 13,634, the randoms first. One, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. Fergie, Boston, Wilson, Philly, Tiger, Carolina. Lash, Toronto, Shell's got Florida. Tiger, Ed Money, Montreal, good luck. JG's got Tampa, Athex has New Jersey and the Islanders. Lash, Calgary, Athex. Minnesota, Dallas, Chicago, Colorado. CD's got Ottawa. Tiger, LA. Athex, Vancouver. Tiger, Rangers. Athex, San Jose. Fergie, Anaheim. Tiger's got Detroit. Shell's got Columbus. CD's got St. Louis. G or JG's got Winnipeg. Athex, Nashville. Tiger, Buffalo. Wilson, Arizona. Tiger, Washington. Athex, Pittsburgh. All right, so as stated, guys, we are going to blaze through the breaks today. Um, again, I'll give you guys a bit more of a heads up of as to when I will do an official kind of cut off. But as of right now, like, all the breaks are very quick breaks. So um, I feel like we can get through pretty much all of them. The Artifacts is down to four left. The, the Chrome Black is down to four. Chronology down to 12. Chance are down to 19 left. Stature sold out. The Mix is sold out. So if we don't have any trades in about uh, one minute, I'm going to start. So let's get it going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, best of luck. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 13,300, uh, sorry, 634, the Platinum to box break. Yeah, those McDavid Young Guns now, I'm seeing like nine fives are going for like 15, 1600 bucks. Is that really what they're going for? We've got a retro of Ovechkin for the Cavs. Della Rose for the Habs as he flies down. Retro of Pot Van for the Islanders. That is just insane. Rainbow of Ovechkin for the Caps. Jared McCann for the Vancouver Canucks. Marky rookie. I wonder how much higher those are going to go. Retro of Bobby Ryan for the Ottawa Senators. Jan Mark for the Dallas Stars, Marky rookie. Tracks of Little for the Winnipeg Jets, Shane Prince, Marky rookie for the Ottawa Senators. 
We've got a Mike McCarron for the Montreal Canadiens marquee rookie. Patch ready for the Habs. Goal, seismic gold. Montreal Canadiens, seismic gold, number to 50. We've got a tracks of Goudreau for the Calgary Flames. Ooh, that's a nice one. Retro Rainbow Gold Rookie of Larkin. Every hit sounds majestic. <laughs> Dylan Larkin. Floor said, I always try. I said, I know there's a lot of times people will just skip over every card. Team Logos of Monahan for the Flames. Sprong Marky Rookie for the Penguins. That is crazy, Terry. We've got a Marky Rookie of Matt Murray for the Penguins. And a Rookie Auto of Bebo for the Leafs. The crazy thing is, though, Terry, is how much higher is it going to go? Because I remember talking to people when they thought 9.5 at 1,000 bucks was as high as it's going to go. And now it's getting to different levels. Don Scoy, Marky Rookie for the Sharks. Jonathan Quick to 149, LA Kings. Jonathan Quick, LA Kings, Red Prism. We've got a rainbow of Jeff Carter for the LA Kings. We've got a rainbow rookie of McCann for the Canucks. McGinn for the Canes. Team Logos, Dubnik for the Wild, Larkin for the Red Wings. Team Logos for the Preds of Rene, Gons for the Vancouver Canucks. We have reached crazy mode, yes we, yes we have. Rainbow Luongo for the Panthers, Olafsson for the uh, nah, Minnesota Wild. Rainbow of Miller for the Canucks. Stevenson for the Caps. Marky Rookie. Retro of Broder for the Devils. Hannafin for the Canes. Retro of Forsberg for the Nashville Predators. Fukali for the Habs. Retro of Sagan for the Dallas Stars. And it's making the hobby very entertaining, isn't it? It's one thing you gotta love. It's making it very, very, very entertaining. Never did I think it'd go this crazy. But it has. Also, what do you guys think of uh, Maurice's comments about Wheeler? Retro of Naslin for the Canucks. Pareko for the Blues. You guys agree with them? Disagree with them? Red Prism of Alex Ovechkin to 149. Red Prism, Alex Ovechkin, 149. We've got a Vertan in Vancouver Canucks, Marky Rookie. Seismic Gold, Freddie Anderson. For the Anaheim Ducks. You missed a comment? Just look it up if you want. Just type in uh, Paul Maurice Wheeler. I'm sure it'll pop up. We've got a Rainbow Retro of Doug Waite. And we've got a Marky Rookie, Connor McDavid. Boop, 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 boop. Highly recommend getting that bad boy graded, by the way. Connor McDavid. We've got a goal or white ice rookie, Robbie Fabry to 199 for the Blues. Robbie Fabry for the Blues. Rontanen for the Avalanche, and this is the big boy. 
a Trax rookie, Connor McDavid. Here's a three four hundred dollar card right there. McDavid Trax rookie. Damn crazy there. We've got a tracks of Kreider for the Rangers. Recommend getting both those graded. We've got a retro Doug Wait for the Oilers. Team logos of a Ginla for the Avalanche. Sparks for the Maple Leafs. We've got a Devin Shore for the Dallas Stars marquee rookie. Jordan Wheel for the LA Kings. Jesus. 17,000 for PSA 10. We've got a rainbow of Doughty for the LA Kings. That's just ridiculous though. Retro of Della Rose for the Habs. Max Domi for the Coyotes. Marky rookie. We've got a rainbow of Poirier for the Flames. Patan for the Jets. Marky rookie. Retro of Dubnik for the Wild. Nick Shore for the LA Kings. Trophy Town of Broder for the Devils. Athanasiu for the Red Wings. Retro of Eisman for the Red Wings, Poirier for the Flames. Retro of Giroux for the Flyers, Hale a Buck for the Jets. Team Logos, Pavelski for the Sharks, Saros for the Preds. Rainbow of Patrady for the Habs. Suban for the Boston Bruins, Marky Rookie. Rainbow Rookie of Eichel for the Sabres, Polotnikov for the Penguins. Damn, two McDavid's. That is sexy. Congrats, whoever had to add money. Said I highly. Highly recommend getting those graded. That is just awesome. Like it, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I said I'm often not going to pretend I watch a lot of the games, so I'm not going to pretend I also know what's going on. But you know, 11 points in 10 games. It's not like he's. Uh, not producing. I don't know. Defensively, you, you know, it is correct. Maybe he is not doing, uh, pulling his weight defensively, but 
All right, so I'm going to get the stature now ready, ladies and gentlemen. So just chugging, chugging along in the evening. We can pretty much get all the breaks done, uh, guys, if you guys keep a good pace. Those are very sexy pulls, yes. Guys, I'm just getting it ready on my end as usual. All right, best of luck on the randoms, folks. Here we go, 13,630, everything three times. One, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. See Wits has Montreal, Minnesota, unknown Washington. Cootsie's got Winnipeg, B Powers, Colorado. Lash has New Jersey. See Wits has Calgary, Vancouver, Boston. Scott, Detroit. Lash, Chicago. See Wits, Nashville, Carolina. Unknown Ed Money, Seawitz Philly Buffalo, Lash has Dallas, Seawitz St. Louis, Nicholas Pittsburgh, Seawitz San Jose, B Powers Islanders, Lash Rangers, Cootsy Ottawa, Seawitz has Columbus, Nick Scott Tampa, Seawitz, Anaheim, Arizona, Florida, Toronto, Scott Scott, LA. All right, so a few minutes for trading on that one. Yeah, I think it's a big stature fan, apparently. <laughs> Yikes, someone likes Stature too much. It's almost like he's a crazy person, eh, Cody? Who would that be? Well, I hope you kill it. I hope you uh, you do well, sir. All right, well, I'm going to start this bad boy off, so might as well keep uh, chugging along on this. What's up, Greg? How you doing, sir? Happy Mitch Marner Young Guns PSA 10-day. Why? What's going on with that now? What am I missing on that? What am I missing out? Apparently, everything is going crazy. <laughs> Here we go, 13,630... We've got the Stature 3 box break. 957, oh my gosh. We've got a Ray board for the Boston Bruins. Cody, are you doing the set of this or what are you doing? Or are you just like it, to be honest? For the Tampa Bay Lightning, Vasilevsky. I'm just kind of curious what you're actually trying to do. Master set. 
Base set. Autographs only. For the Red Wings, Fulcher to three ninety nine. Three ninety nine Fulcher. For the Oilers to one forty nine Joel Person. <laughs> Joel Person. Oilers. For the Boston Bruins, 85, Phil Esposito. Portraits. I agree with you, Cody. I do think this is probably one of the best value products. Even when it came out, I, I love this. I think it was one of the best ones out there. For the Vancouver Canucks to 199, Zach McEwen, rookie auto. Zach McEwen. Nice. Numbered 45 of 45. Red rookie auto for the Habs. Caden Primo. That's a good one for the Habs. Caden Primo. And we got a Century Momentous Bobby Orr for the Boston Bruins. Very nice hit, yep. Very, very, very nice hit. And again, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want to get the breaks going, I will be off around or 8 o'clock. I'll probably make a last call type thing. So if you guys wish to get the ball rolling in all of these, I'm, I will try to get as many of these done. But a lot of them are getting close. For the Flyers, Carter Hart. But let's get them going. For the Devils, Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall. For the Winnipeg Jets, it was 399, Ville Hanola. Winnipeg Jets, 199. For the Devils, the 149, Green Marty Broder. Green of Broder for the Devils. For the Dallas Stars, number to 75, Mike Madonna. Dallas Stars, Mike Madonna. For the Rangers, 199, Libor Hayek. Libor Hayek. For the Flyers, Morgan Frost, rookie Reliance. And an esteemed of McKinnon for the Avalanche. For the Hawks, Bobby Hall, Chicago Blackhawks. For the Blue Jackets, Seth Jones. Oh, by the way, Cody, I know you got some boxes of it too. And obviously this goes to anyone else. If anyone wants some of the uh, 1920 stuff, I can assure you it's running very uh, out quickly. Vegas Golden Knights, Nicholas Hag. And I can tell you we only have a little left at the, uh, in the 1920 stuff right now. And it will go up significantly shortly. For the Blue Jackets, 149, Seth Jones. Uh, it's Ashley's birthday today, so we're just going to have uh, a semi-celebration, per se. It's not much we can do at work, but just more so have uh, some birthday cake. Bo Quist is 75. Rookie for the Hawks. Red rookie. For the Blue Jackets, Rookie Reliance Auto, Elvis Merzlikens. Exactly. Elvis Merzlikens, that's a nice one for Blue Jackets. 
Number to 20 red portraits for the Golden Knight of Jonathan Marchesso. Marchesso. And we've got for the Avalanche, Connor Timmins. There we go. So as I said, uh, my goal is to be off by around 8-ish. So ideally, the faster we can get all these breaks done, the, you know, the nicer it is. And so we're on a good pace today. I, I deliberately tried to post a whole bunch of breaks that uh, are semi-quicker. The other thing, um, I did get the breaks ready for, for you guys for tomorrow, so you guys will have a nice early start on those. I just want to advertise something for you guys so that way, while we get the next break ready, that you guys are very understanding and clear. So I posted a mixed break that is going to have 1516 black diamond. Now, I really hope I do not have to stress to you that anything 1516 is going to be pretty much either damn near impossible. Thank you, Cody. I appreciate it. Damn near impossible to get, or it's just going to be absolutely impossible to just get it at a good price. So it will be headlined with 1516 Diamond. So I really do hope you guys take advantage of them while we have it. Uh, we are able to do a few of them tomorrow if it does go. Like obviously if they sell out quickly, I can post up a couple of them. But I just want to give you a heads up because I just think I don't actually out of curiosity, does anyone mind looking up what's a diamond going for? Has that one uh has that one jumped up at all? Well, sorry, I know it's jumped up, but how much? Here we go, 13,636. Three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. Fergie, Vancouver, Unknown Islanders, Cards, Nashville, Billy's got Winnipeg, Rangs, Detroit, Wes has Montreal, Bo Sox, Boston, Wes, St. Louis, Cards, Arizona, Howie's got... Minnesota, Cootsie, Dallas, Bullseye, Tampa, Wes, Washington, Sis, Buffalo, Terry, L.A., Thad, Columbus, D-Guy, Florida, Frosh has Calgary, Cards has Toronto, Thad's got New Jersey, Mike, Colorado, Aaron's got Ottawa, Bo Sox, Rangers, Works got Vegas, Cards, San Jose, Carolina, Bo Sox, Philly, Stonehead, Money, Mario, Pittsburgh, Cards, Chicago, and Wes has Anaheim. Uh, Christian, those will be posted right after, by the way. These will, like, when I'm done tonight. So, probably around 8, 8.30ish. Yeah, Greg, I, I can't really, again, just me being honest, I can't really comment on it too much. I haven't really read up on it. Um, a couple of our members were telling me yesterday about, I guess, like fighting and stuff like that with the teammates. If that is honestly true, I can't see a GM wanting to take him. That, to me, just seems like a very bad...
Very bad choice. So again, here's the link to all the other breaks, folks. I'm uh, more than happy to get them all going. So artifacts, four boxers filled. Ultimates down to five. The Chrome Blacks down to four. The Chronologies down to 11. The Chancers, very easy to get those done, folks. What's with the early starts? Ashley's birthday today. So we're just doing a bit of a, a properly distanced COVID celebration. <laughs> the best we can make out of it with, with it with it. So. What channel is the hockey game on? Why is 22 showing the Columbus game? Am I missing something here? All right. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. 13,636. We've got the mixer. I'm guessing the Leaf game is not on channel 22. And eight feet, how you doing, good sir? Good seeing you. Holy base packs. Keep away from the boxes. Yeah, she'll be back on Saturday, so you guys can wish her happy birthday then. Is there anything else but base packs in this? Portraits of Crosby for the Penguins. Young Guns of Harkins for the Jets. Matt Duchesne for the Nashville Predators. Dazzlers. Got a pastor act, nice. Young Guns Canvas of Mikael Burden for the Winnipeg Jets. The world isn't saying yes, yes it is. Portraits of Getzlaff for the Ducks. Anna Joseph, Young Guns for the Penguins. No, Jason, same form. Velarde Gold Glossy for the LA Kings. Bellows for the Islanders. I swear I get Bellows every time. Jake Evans for the Habs. Jason, I can tell you for a dealer's point of view, just fill out the, uh, the form and print it off. And it makes uh, a dealer's life significantly easier. A better sniper than uh, Pasternak? I don't know if it, I don't know what you classify as sniper. Like I look at a guy like a Matthews who's just a better shooter. Line A is a better shooter. We've got a hell of a red for the Jets. I would look at Pasternak in the same boat as a McDavid, where they're just insanely skilled with their hands. Four forty nine, John Carlson for the Caps. And we've got a Duncan Keith to eight ninety nine for the Hawks. See on the Cup journey. But I do think right now, in my honest opinion, I think Pasternak's the best goal scorer in the NHL. Darlene Red for the Buffalo Sabers. For seven forty nine, Patrick Kane for the Hawks. And we got a Mark Andre Fleury for the Vegas Golden Knights All Stars. Ottinger for the Dallas Stars, red rookie. 
We've got a star quest for the San Jose Sharks, Brent Burns. Brent Burns. And we got a Stanley Cup to $8.99 of Ovechkin for the Caps. Leon Seidel for the Oilers. For the Avalanche, Bowen Byram. Bowen Byram, 349. And a constant threat of Ovechkin for the Caps. See? You can tell I'm completely unbiased when I talk about those things because Boston sucks and I don't like them. We've got an OEL for the Coyotes. But on honesty and conversation, I can always tell you the right things. Or what I think is the right things. 99 exceptional stars for the Golden Knights. And LA Kings 99 Kopitar. So I'm saying, it's amazing how many people when they talk about, uh, they're just so completely biased that they can never get over it. Dylan Coughlin, Vegas Golden Knights. Brad Beal beat a Michael Jordan record. What's the record? We got a 349 Bergeron for the Boston Bruins. FX, Barkov for the Panthers. Dre Seidel for the Oilers. 449 Shabbat. Shabbat, exceptional stars, 449. And a threat of Kane for the Hawks. OEL for the Coyotes. This is like a double up box. 749 for the Rangers of Panarin. And a Carlson, all stars for the Sharks. Here's the thing I'm going to throw this one out there. Who would you guys rather have, Dre Seidel or Pasternak? Twenty-five points, seventeen games in a row. We've got a canvas for the Dallas Stars of Sagan. That's impressive. Rookie retrospective of Fox for the Rangers. What year is Bradley Beal a rookie? Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. Canvas. Clear cut for the Winnipeg Jets. Josh Morrissey. Josh Morrissey clear cut for the Jets. We've got a worldwide of Pasternak for the Boston Bruins. Portrait of Zuccarello for the Wild. Debut of Sam Sona for the Caps. It is a good question. Connor Ingram for the Nashville Predators Young Guns. Canvas for the Sharks of Brent Burns. <laughs> oh. French variant, Timo Meyer for the Sharks. 2012, okay. Jake Evans, Young Guns for the Habs. Ka Carolina, Sebastian Ajo, Dazzlers. Two more spots in the MLB. Lilligren Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. Worldwide of Tatar for the Habs. Portrait of Bishop for the Stars. Predominant of Seth Jones for the Jackets. Portrait Rookies. Liam Foodie for the Jackets. Di Pietro for the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, for shootout, I would go Pasternak, me personally. 
Canvas of Warinski for the jacket. Soderstrom Young Guns for the Coyotes. Signature Sensations Rudolph's Balsers. Rudolph's Balsers. Auto Centers. We've got a Tyler Benson for the Oilers, Young Guns. That's incredible. Is he on a good team or no? Portraits Rookies of Baudin for the Hawks. Predominant of Tatar for the Habs. In all honesty, I'd probably go past that. I, I honestly think, uh, I do think he's probably the up there. I don't know if I'll say like second best because when you guys have like different dynamics of McKinnon's, Matthews, Crosby's, Ovi's. But I would take, my personal thing is I'll take pass over Dre Seidel. Personally. We've got a two ninety nine for the Devils of Gusev. Dual jersey to 175. And it's one office jersey number, I believe, Ricard Raquel. Ricard Raquel. Speaking of the best player in the NHL, 145 Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews. Woo, nice. For the Maple Leafs, number to 45, dual jersey auto, Felix Pavan. Felix Potvin. Dual Jersey Auto. We've got a new Jersey Devils rookie redemption. We've got a 399 LA Kings, Mikey Anderson. You can, yeah, that's awesome, eh? Mikey Anderson. We've got a three ninety nine for the Blues, Ryan O'Reilly. And we got a Yager ninety nine for the Penguins. There we go. Nice. Matthew scored already. What channel is the damn game on? I want to see if I can find it quickly.
I'm seeing the highlights. Apparently, uh. Hey, I'm glad you're doing well. So time to do the artifact 622. So again, ladies and gentlemen, I do uh, apologize ahead of time on uh, the quickness of tonight. But uh, the good news is we should be able to plow through most of these breaks. So give me a few seconds. Let me get this going. I know it's very early, but would you guys say right now Vancouver is probably the biggest regression of a team? I thought they would be going the other way. Not going to lie. I actually thought they were going to be a little better of a team this year. 13,622. Everything three times. One, two, three. Paste. One, two, three. Copy paste. Dad's got Carolina, Van Ed Money, Payne, Colorado, Terry, Calgary, Scott, Arizona, Dave, Winnipeg, Cards, Washington, St. Louis, Tolson, Buffalo, Ryan has Rangers, Mosher, Tampa, Dab, Anaheim, uh, Deb's got Dallas, Wilson, Boston, Billy's got Islanders, Tolson, Ottawa, Doctor's got Detroit. Tolson, Pittsburgh. Ryan's got Vegas. Wing, Toronto. Cards, Florida. Eagles, LA. Fergie, Nashville. Thor, Montreal. Rob's got San Jose. Dusty's got Columbus. Anthony, Vancouver. Thomas, New Jersey. Stone's got Philly. Tolson, Chicago. And Cards has Minnesota. Yeah, but Detroit sucked, though. So why are you surprised that they continue to suck? Vancouver, I thought they were going to be better. So one minute for trading.
So, one second. All right. So, give me one second. I'm just going to cancel some uh, payments, guys and girls. So I'm just going to see what we actually have. So it looks like there's only one spot I have to cancel officially. It's uh, one spot in the baseball break, just so you guys know. I know those two pennies, but those should be okay. Uh, eight feet, I have no idea, honestly. I, I can tell you right now, it's going to be a bloody nightmare. And the reason I say that very quickly before I start everything going is realistically, it scares the crap out of me because you got to think. Let's say this comes out at six thousand, uh, like a thousand dollars a ten. You times it with tax, it's divided by 31 spots, that's $218 a spot for a random. I am very curious to see what this is going to be. Hold on, what's dumb? Two hundred eighteen, eighteen. Yeah, it's never fun. It's never fun. <laughs> but I can tell you, everyone is getting a lot less than they probably ever wanted to. But uh, there's not much we can do about it. Here we go. 13,622 artifacts. Four box break. Yeah, so I'm very curious to see how it's going to go. And remember, that's if. That's Brandon. That's if it's $1,000 a box. If it's more than that, I honestly don't even know how I could, like, how you do a team random of it. I might have to do half cases. Nine ninety nine, Mikey Anderson for the LA Kings. Fifty bucks we're gonna pay. We'll see. I have to go through the checklist. Shea Theodore for the Vegas Golden Knights. Remnants. We have a patch, and that's a sexy card. Numbered one of ten. Dual tag of Makar. One of ten Makar. Well, the funny thing is, Jeff, as much as none of us will like the price increase right away, I can promise you, I bet you it'll be $1,500 very fast. So it might not be nice to have it at a thousand bucks or lower, but it, I guarantee you. Patterson, Vancouver, Orem. It'll probably be, uh, honestly, way higher than that within a couple weeks. Rookie Redemption, Buffalo Sabres. $3.99 for the Coyotes, Taylor Hall. $2.99 for the Vancouver Canucks, Bo Horvat. 
And a 75 Darlene for the Sabres. There nothing there? Um, I haven't seen, honestly, I'm not going to also lie, I haven't really looked. I have not seen many pre-orders in Canada. Um, I've talked to a few dealers. Um, and they're in the same boat as me where they have no idea what they're getting on it. But they anticipate it'll be between the 900 to 1200. So, I, I don't, a Canadian obviously, just so we're clear. Peyton Kreps for the Vegas Golden Knights, rookie. We've got a dual jersey to five and a nine Martin caught. Avalanche. They are nice cards. As I said, it's just the market right now. It's just the market. We've got a treasured swatches jersey of Carter Hart. So what's the math on that? If you time to buy, let's say, what, 1.26 or whatever it is, 1.27? What's the math on that if someone wants to do one point and then times taxes? Holy God, that's sexy. We've got... Number to 15, dual, purple, patch, rookie, auto, Lucas Carlson. Out of 15, Lucas Carlson. Sexy. We've got an Oilers rookie redemption. So sixty two hundred plus taxes, so that's over a thousand and ten, yeah. Four ninety nine aho. So that's basically if my math is correct, basically about like a thousand forty. Four ninety nine for the Avalanche Macar. 1,040 plus taxes. And number to 45, Pekka Rene for the Preds. So, and that's that's what they're doing it now for. That's it. I would not be surprised if it's 1,000, you know, 1,100 bucks for most places in Canada. And the other thing, more so commenting on uh, 8 feet about the price increase, I will also tell you a lot of dealers of this, uh, like smaller dealers, maybe might get a half a case to a case at most. And the difference is, and we've had this conversation before, we got a four ninety nine dollars 99 quiz for the Jackets. The difference is before they could probably reorder. Now it's basically like, that's the only stock. So for survival, they, they need to maximize. Carl's, Carlson for the Sharks, Remnants. That's what a lot of people... As I said, that's why a lot of people I think are forgetting on the side of these things that stores need to survive. So, Brad Marchand to 99 for the Boston Bruins. Everything's a buy now. That's exactly how it is, AC. You are right. Auto facts for the Calgary Flames, Oliver Shellington. Like, again, I can tell you for me, eight feet for inventory, it's. It's a nightmare. Like, for me to rebuy, it's crazy. 99 Larkin for the Red Wings. Rookie Redemption. It'll be random to retro number four. Like, there's legitimately, I think, four or five products that I have on my shelf from 1920 alone that are below my new cost that I have to buy them at. 299 Brent Burns for the Sharks. Think about that. And a 499 Dominic Hashik for the Red Wings. Like, isn't that crazy? I think there's three or four products I legitimately have on my shelf that my rebuy price is going to cost me more than what's, what I have it for there. So, that's the issue right now is you have to maximize what you have because you know you're not going to replenish much of it for too long. Rookie Redemption, Montreal Canadiens. Green Rookie, or sorry, Gold Rookie of Mikey Anderson, LA Kings. Two ninety nine 
299 for the Avalanche. Nazem Kadri. 1760. Yeah, exactly. 75 Dougie Hamilton for the Carolina Hurricanes. Three ninety nine rookie of Robertson for the Maple Leafs. Dual jersey one twenty five Pekka Rene. Uh, Terry, I'll get to your question once I'm done uh, this break, so I can explain it a little more in depth, maybe. We've got for the Dallas Stars Tundra teammates two forty nine of Pavelski Sagan. Pavelski Sagan. And hopefully a big finish. We've got for the Buffalo Sabres, Johan Larson. And I'm going to do the uh, random right now at the end of the video. So good luck. Random for the redemption. One, two, three. Cards, 40. Congrats. So... The difference is, it's not necessarily the... Here's the problem, is everyone is getting way less than the, what they would want long-term. So the problem is the demand of what everyone wants is far exceeding what everyone's getting. So what happens is right now, for example, and I told you guys this yesterday, I like to be as transparent with you guys as possible. Is for example, my cost on artifacts has gone up eighty dollars since release, and it's pretty much near gone. So it's not like I can call my distributor right now and say, "I want a hundred cases." Obviously, that's a stupid number, but there's no way I could even get quantity. I could even ask for ten cases, and you know what I'd get? I'd get told, "Thank you. I can give you maybe one." The market right now is just going nuts. Um, so that's kind of the difference. So the other issue is everyone's selling it and there is just no quantity out there. So before I literally could go to the U S I could go to the dealers. I could go to a whole bunch of people who just got on eBay. Nowadays, if you try to find things, it's gone. So you got to think about that. So, Oh, eight feet. You took all the spots. Okay. I was wondering, I'm like, I hope those three spots are good. I was like, that kind of sucks if it doesn't, but... So that's you. Okay, good to know, good to know. Well, I can get the uh, chrome then done now. Think, think about it this way. Imagine, imagine Terry and everyone else, if there's 100 McDavid Young Guns in the marketplace, but there's 50,000 collectors. There's only 100 of them. You cannot do much more, and if you want to find them and people want to tuck them away, they're gone. Like, it's one of those sad things right now that it's. I know that what I have now is what I have. I cannot replenish, and if I do somehow find someone who I can replenish from, I am paying a bloody fortune for it. Like as I said, I will give you guys a rough number again, just to be straight up. With you guys, obviously not exact, exact, but stature, SBA, for example, I, I have to look at the, and I, I'm not going to give you the exact numbers, but they're over $300 for me just to buy it back, like to get more of it. Think about that. So when you start seeing dealers move it up, you know, like 10, 20, 30 bucks, there's a reason why, because... It's just impossible, and I guarantee you what's going to happen is within two, three nights, it's just going to be gone. And then it's a matter of how long do you have your supply until it's completely gone, and then it's gone forever. It's also why, for example, if you guys have maybe paid attention to, whenever we have like last break of things, you don't see many of them ever again, if any. Uh, we had to buy from a distributor. There's two distributors. Luckily, the one that we deal with is the biggest in the world for hockey cards, so he gets pretty much the most product. But the problem is, there's a boatload of people. There's, there's just shy of 500 stores in Canada, guys. So think about it this way. 
If there's a product that has 2,000 cases and there's 500 dealers in Canada alone, do the math. It doesn't leave a lot for all the, you know, all the people when there's especially some dealers who get decent quantities. So at the end of the day, it's kind of crazy. Oh no, Terry, I will happily tell you a couple of these. The only 1516 I think our distributor has is cup and 1516 ice. Ice, I believe, is about $1,000 now for me to buy it. <laughs> and cup, I believe, I think it was five or five and a half thousand per tin. So, it ain't easy to get these now. All right, good luck, everyone. Here we go, 13,573. One, two, three. Copy, paste. Oh, I didn't even put the teams in there. Make sure it's 30. Yep. One, two, three. Copy, paste. Wings got Baltimore. Bobo's got LA or Angels. MG's got Kansas. Clark's got Cleveland. Bob's got St. Louis. MG's got Texas. Clark's got San Fran. JG's got Colorado. Matt's got Yankees. Payne the Mets. Bob's got Chicago White Sox. HB's got the Cubs. Clark's got Boston. MG's got Oakland. Eight feet Dodgers. KS has Seattle. Eight feet Tampa. KS Pittsburgh. Eight feet Arizona. JG Milwaukee, Minnesota. Wings got Philly. MG's got San Diego. Eight feet. Uh, it's got the. I was going to say Maple Leafs. Toronto. Payne, uh, Cincinnati. Clark, Washington. Eight feet Houston. Boo, uh, Bobo's got Atlanta. Maddie's got Miami. And JG's got Detroit. What's a, a redemption raffle card? Essentially anything that's expired, Upper Deck will give you something um, on the expired redemption card. It is, uh, they basically take it in there, they do a raffle, and then you get what they give you in the brackets they have. So, I just gotta go fill my water bottle up, folks, and then we'll do the baseball. And again, anything you guys wanna get filled, we'll do today.
So, about 30 more seconds for trades, folks. How am I doing? In all honesty, I did, I've said this for a little while. I'm a little tired. Not gonna lie. But uh, no, it's been great. Everything's great. You know what? I, I feel like it's funny. I will tell you one thing before I start this break. I feel like there's a lot of extremes right now going on. Whereas what I mean by that is some of them are. Uh, Some are like super happy and some are like super unhappy. So I'm, I'm dealing with a lot. Like for example, we had a guy uh, message us today. I guess one of the cards he got in a group break, he got it graded, there was a bit of an error on the label. So we literally messaged him and said, hey, send it back. Like I called M&T, send it back. They'll take care of it for free. We'll ship it out to you once uh, on your next group break stuff. And he literally wrote back this like long, you know, nice paragraph just saying like, is that really all I have to do? Like, this is not going to cost me anything. You know, I had this problem with Beckett. It cost me $45, you know, with shipping and everything. He goes, there's really nothing else I have to do. I'm like, no, like, I, I don't think people give credit to good companies like that enough. I've always said that. But then you get the opposites where um, we had another customer of ours, another fun story, who submitted a, I think it was a two-day grading or a six-day grading. And basically, uh, not exact quote, but basically stated to us to tell m &T that who cares if it's state of emergency, it's not his problem, and that all the cards should be graded on time, it doesn't matter about like the state of emergency. <laughs> so it's weird. We're dealing with two different opposites, like a lot of opposites lately. In terms of how people are, I feel like a lot more people are happy and receptive, and then there's a lot of people. Like we learned that a guy, also like two days ago, messaged us and goes, uh, "It's been, it's been." He's in Vancouver. He's like, "It's been a week since I got my cards." So we messaged him like, "It's Canada Post. Like it, they're slow. I'm sorry." And he's like, he basically says like, "That's an excuse. Why would you guys use an excuse like that?" It's like, I don't understand some people sometimes. Here we go, 13,579.73 Chrome Black. Like, for those that don't know, for example, there's been an outbreak, I think, in the Hamilton and the Toronto uh, Canada Post thing that's been slowing down things. Like, stuff like that massively slows down shipping. For the White Sox, Zach Collins. I feel like a lot of people just need to learn to relax, be happy. Not the end of the world. We've got a Travis Demerad for the Detroit. I don't know if I said his uh, last name properly. Detroit. And we've got number to 199 for the Cubs, Xavier Baez. Baez. So, Brandon, we normally, so we do shipping on uh, Thursday, Friday, and Monday. So you guys know how it goes. We've got for Cleveland autograph of Kenny Lofton. Kenny Lofton. Cleveland. You know what blows my mind though, Flores? I I don't understand, and I said the one that I specifically comment on to you guys about. Like, m and literally posted on their website about state of emergency, and I thought that was a very fair thing to do. And for some people to literally go out there and go, I don't care about that. You know, it's not my problem. Like, they run a business. It's like, it's, I don't know. It's, it rubs me, honestly, a very, very wrong way when people don't care about the safety of other people. Like, I don't think any business 
ideally in Ontario, would like to send their staff home and slow things down. Bryce Harper for the Phillies. Bryce Harper. We've got for the Yankees, Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole. And we've got for the Yankees, number to 199, Gary Sanchez. It just, I just don't know why people look at, like, it's not their problem. I understand it's not their problem, but people gotta, business has gotta run. Number to 25, autograph for San Francisco Giants, Will Clark. 25, autograph, Will Clark. There we go. You know what the other funny thing is I, 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 I've actually thought about lately? If we as a small dealer get that many angry people for like a one week or two week delay, I would love to see some of the emails that PSA and Beckett get in all honesty. <laughs> Because I don't think PSA or Beck could even do anything for any customers in terms of compensation or even emails or apologies. And they're like eight months delayed. So I really don't know why people get so upset about things that exactly what Dustin said, that we cannot control. I just think it's too funny. A goal and assist, nice. Um, you know what, 8 feet, are you, like, here's the thing. Here's my honest opinion. If you're an insurance company, I don't think there's any excuses why you should be delayed because you're, you can work from home and do your normal stuff. For example, we can't, for example, I can't send people home and get Eric to magically do the shipping from home and then get Dan to do, you know, packaging from home. There's machinery that, you know, needs to get done. So... Now, again, I'm not gonna pretend I know all the dynamics of all the businesses, but I would presume with MNT there's machinery, a lot of machinery involved. If you are sending people home, I feel like it's, it would naturally delay things no matter what. Uh, Jason, we do have a football break tomorrow. So, yes, we do. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, the two chancers, the ultimate of five left, and the others. If you guys want to get any of them going, but like, don't get me wrong, Afi. There's certain, there's certain pro, uh, certain businesses that I feel like sending people. Like for example, um, one of our IT guys that helps us with our site stuff, he can work from home, right? He honestly can work from home. And you got to think that doesn't change anything for a lot of IT businesses. The thing is, like, I remember when we first went on lockdown and we did a rotation staff. I can tell you it was literally just me and Dan here the one week. And then Ashley, Eric, and uh, Riley at the time the other week. The uh, Like, obviously, we rotated. There is no way possible, I can tell you, me and Dan... We're going to get as much done as a normal seven-person team.
All right, give me one second, folks. I'll be right back. stuff it just it's as it, it honestly just kind of it aggravates me when people just don't understand and here's the other straight up honest thing that bothers me is what I find funny is if you're gonna like I look and again I'm only comparing the big three companies okay M&T Beckett PSA you have two companies that are like six months to a year behind and one that's one to three weeks I legitimately feel like the one to three weeks is a very sweet option right now. So. Um, Lash, you know what? Any way to start is a good way to start. There's no, there's no like, this is better. The only thing I always recommend is when you start is get good friends in the hobby. I cannot stress that enough is a lot of people, for example, they want to open up a card store and you know what they do is they go, well, I'm going to go out there and try to crush CNC and all these other guys. You're not, and I'm not saying it really, you're not going to win those battles in terms of like, for example, imagine if you came into the Maple Leafs dressing room right now and you're like, I want to kick out Austin Matthews. You will get booted off that team in two seconds because nobody will want to deal with you. So you have to, have to, have to have a good, uh, good contacts. Um, yeah, I would say just kind of get to know the hobby as much as you can. But anywhere you start is good. Anywhere you start is good. Are you Austin Matthews? I am, yes. By the way, guys, uh, I'll give it about 15 more minutes to get things going. 15 more minutes to get things going. Uh, if you guys want to get the Canada going or the Ultimate or Chronology, I'm fine with any of them. The other thing, again, is just small things, Lash, that I recommend always follow the rules charge the appropriate taxes keep all the invoices receipts write up everything properly you do not want to get into bad habits early on which again it's going to hurt you guys that like hurt you down the road a lot of dealers think sadly they're invincible to the government and the problem is one day when they get audited they are going to get absolutely ruined so you never 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 want to do that So, and as I said, Lash, whenever you are ever open to opening a store, please give me a call. Um, if you're in Canada, I can definitely help you a lot more because uh, the, the contacts I could give you and the people that you should be dealing with um, will definitely help you. As I said, you want to deal with the right people in the hobby. That's the most important thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, Lash, that shouldn't be a problem. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, you got about 10 minutes to get anything going. If not, that is our uh, early night again. I do apologize, but uh, I tried to move Ashley's birthday, but I swear it seems to be the same day every year. You know what? That's the other thing I will honestly recommend is don't ever worry about doing things fast. Do it right and it'll be a lot better for you long term.
There's too many people who do the wrong things. But. So again, ladies and gentlemen, I know I do apologize. Uh, we would be getting off early. Again, I have some pretty kick, kick butt breaks for tomorrow. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, as I said, floor, it's, it's one of those things that we're all kind of working anyways, right? So it's, it's, it's nice to be able to at least celebrate your birthday with people rather than just sitting at home by yourself type thing. It's, I feel bad for people right now, but I know that's obviously what you have to do. What's it? We're going to, we have a big, uh, we have a big bar area here where we can kind of spread out and, uh, just kind of have a quick celebration. She does deserve it. I said she had, uh, she had a good day. And I said we're we're pretty uh we're pretty tight our crew right so everyone's family. Everyone's family. I said I'm happy guys to get things done. I have till about eight fifteen eight thirty. So if you do guys want to make a run on like the Team Canada or the Ultimate or the chancers are like they take two seconds to do. I'm legitimately, I'm more than happy to get any of these done, guys. Floor, I will be posting breaks as soon as I'm off. So, I'm more than happy if a couple of you guys want to get into that Chancer. It's $17. Like, that could fill up very quickly. Team Canada could fill. But if not, then it'll be tomorrow. I just get everything nice and organized uh, sooner than later. That is up to you, fine folks. So we had a, a fun, quick evening, no matter what. Still did uh, six breaks, and there are some killer breaks. So, just in case any of you guys want to get it going. Um, and again, just a reminder, um, there is a football break tomorrow, so that'll be fun. I do anticipate that filling quickly, just so you guys know. Um, as you guys know, football stuff, number one, to get in Canada is not cheap. Number two, there's very limited supply. So if you guys just enjoy football breaks, honestly, get them. Because I can also tell you, we are running very low on football. <laughs> And the other one, as stated, I really, really hope you guys respond to it well. Because the headliner is going to be 1516 Black Diamond. I honestly hope you guys realize that boxes like that are going to be non I don't even know if you can find any of those anywhere else right now. So I do honestly hope you guys realize that. Um... 
and get those going. The other question I was going to ask you guys, I know, I don't know how many uh, feedback I'm going to get right now from it, but do you guys think we should go on Sunday? I will tell you in previous years, um, Super Bowl has absolutely crushed our Sundays, which I think crushes everyone's Sundays. Do you guys honestly think I should post a monster that Sunday or do you think it's pointless? And I am very happy with honest opinions. If you guys straight up think it's pointless and you're not going to be here, it is at least helps me to know, but... Super big game soon, yeah. So anyone got any opinions on that or not really? Some early football breaks. The only downside floor, A, I don't have a lot of football products. Uh, and B, it's only two of us here during the day. So um, we pretty much need both hands on deck. I, I just wonder if it's gonna be really, really slow or if I should just like what I should do with that. All right, well, I'm not thinking that we're going to get anything else done tonight, judging by this uh, immense amount of talking. Can Sunday save me a few bucks? <laughs> I feel like a lot of people are going to be betting on that day, too, anyways. So so with that being said, folks, I appreciate you guys understanding on the uh, Ashley birthday. We will be live again tomorrow, normal time, 7.15. Lots of big breaks. Let's crush them. Have a great night. See you guys then.